Hi guys, today we are reviewing a wonderfully spooky and a wonderfully crazy little movie called Extraordinary, which is available now to stream on Netflix. Okay, um, the film is set in rural Ireland um, and it follows uh, a character called Rose, played by Maeve Higgins, um, who is a, a lonely driving instructor and part-time ghostbuster, and her love life is as dead as the ghouls that haunt her. Rose's life is fairly mundane until she's recruited by a lonely widower called Martin, who's played by uh, the, the, the wonderful Barry Ward, who you may have seen in um, The End of the, the Effing World, which was on Netflix a little while ago. Why does it have to be so unnecessarily gross? Martin needs help in getting rid of his dead wife, who is terrorising him and his daughter. Mostly him, terrorising the poor man from beyond the grave. Um, but worse still is that a jaded pop star played by Will Forte, uh, the excellent Will Forte, who's probably best known for his work in 30 Rock uh, and also doing voiceovers for the Lego Movie 1 and 2, American Dad and Bob's Burgers recently as well. So he's, he's probably the biggest star in the film, to be honest. Uh, but his character has an evil plan to sacrifice Martin's poor daughter to the devil in return for some fame and fortune. <laughs> hey, Coming, my sweet. I'm doing an incantation. Now! Now, the movie is a devilish treat, and uh, the first time filmmakers, uh, the writer, the directors, Mike Ahern and Ender Luffman have crafted a film that is absolutely loaded with nods to um, to Edgar Wright movies, the Cornetto trilogy. So Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, The World's End, for example. Uh, there's also nods to Poltergeist in there, Ghostbusters. You just have to let the ghosts inhabit your body. Like in Ghostbusters. Oh, I haven't read that. And probably most prominently the, the Exorcist as well. Um, the scenes in which Martin is terrorised by his dead wife are some of the film's strongest. Uh, and it's, it's clearly made on a relatively low budget. Um, but the, 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 the visual effects are, uh, with that in mind, very effective, to be honest. There's, uh, there's, there's lovely scenes where we see Rose's character, uh, dry, who's a driving instructor. She's, she's at work, she's driving a car and, and she's passing everyday things like a, like a toaster, which is starting to move and, uh, and kind of waving at her. Um, people that she sees walk past become ghosts. And these, these are just lovely little touches and the, the visual effects um, aren't done on a big budget, but it doesn't matter. It's quirky and it's fun and it works really well. Uh, one, one slight drawback for the film is that it does take a little while for it to kick into gear um, to get to get into its properly spooky and gory gear. Uh, but once it does, it is a, an absolute hoot and an absolute treat. Um, there's also some lovely touches of humanity in the movie. Uh, Rose's guilt over her father's death um, and her own subsequent loneliness as a, as a result of that uh, is quite touching to watch. And also her relationship with, with Martin. Uh, when when that starts to unravel, is is really sweet and touching. So although it's it's funny and it's a it's a comedy, it's a horror, and it's got some blood and some guts in there. It's also got a little bit of um, romance and a nice nice touch of humanity uh, at the core of the film. Also, this is over. Soon. Overall, we would give Extraordinary a, a solid, a spooky, a gore-tastic 4 out of 5 stars here on the storyboard. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.